did I make my polymer presses out of gold? I did. Okay, good stuff. Um, I didn't mention it, and I didn't even think about it, but I did mean to build them out of gold because, of course, as I mentioned before, with our uh, pump down here, building things out of gold increases its um, overheat temperature, and so by default, these would overheat at 75 degrees Celsius. Because we made them out of the gold, now they don't overheat until 125 degrees Celsius, and so they should be able to go for much, much longer before they actually start overheating. The hydrogen is making its way into the room, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. And there is a little bit of polluted water on the ground here, which normally I would sweep up. But when I've seen people with their polymer press builds, I've seen a lot of people... Oh, you know what? I will mop this up. <laughs> Just because otherwise it emits polluted oxygen. But I have seen people putting down little bits of water because the machine can run it can't run if it's fully submerged it will then just not work at all but it can run if there's a little bit of water along the ground and the little bit of water actually does help to cool the machine down and so if we can get some clean water in here it might not be a bad idea to try having a little bit of water along the ground just to add that little bit of extra cooling we'll start by you know using the system we've got and we'll see how well that works um, and then going forward we could add a little bit of water if you know we need it to add more polymer presses or if we need it just to get going anything like that we can uh, we can always look to adding that later on down the line but for now let us first things first i think this is set to oh no, it's it's open so our duplicates can oh no they can't get down here of course okay so i'm going to delete this tile we'll set that to like priority seven and then we'll also go ahead and up the priority on the deletion of these wires here and also on the creation of the transformer because i would like that to get uh, to get built and then of course we will continue running our conductive wire although i don't know if we're gonna have enough still like that's so much gold to get over there my goodness we can uh, continue on with a little bit of lead if we really want to, to kind of do this and we are gonna have to delete the tiles here and potentially like but can i reach that no, they can't reach that. Okay, so I'll delete these two tiles. I'll delete this one as well. Uh, actually, I think we can just delete this one, and then they can go down and, and get in there and build that. We're going to need much, much more gold. Um, and really, we need more just ore in general. So it might not be a bad idea if we go and kind of, like, dig this out. You know what? Sure. Priority eight. So above all the other stuff that we're doing right now, if you guys could come over, and actually, I'm going to push that over by one. There's also a little bit of uh, coal over here as well, which is pretty nice. So if we just dig up like that, and then we go ahead and set a priority eight dig for pretty much all of the iron ore, apart from the iron ore that's going to expose us to chlorine. So this and this. And we'll play it a little safe and do like this and this. I don't think we'll be able to reach there. But if we do that, that will hopefully get us a decent amount of iron ore, which we can then use for our, uh, for our wiring here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, super speed through this. Because I think it's going to take them a little while to get that done. Uh, super speeding does hurt the frame rate a little bit. So apologies if... Uh, if that's coming through too badly on the YouTube video. You can see how fast everything's kind of moving through here. But uh, that's going to hopefully make this whole dig just that little bit faster. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. How much... I'm going to slow down. How much iron ore do we have? So I'm going to cancel the remaining gold ore here. And I'm going to switch that over to iron ore. We now got 13 tons of iron. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and make like 25 of those. Let's go use 2.5 tons, but we've got a ton of extra, so that is fine. One thing that I did mean to do at the start of today's episode that I've not done is hook up our Atmos suit here, because this guy currently does not have any oxygen going to it, and that does mean that right now we cannot shear our records, which is why we're not getting more plastic. Uh, we also cannot just tend to them in general. And if we don't go ahead and put this pipe down, our records will starve and they will die, which is not what we want. Uh, we want them to, to be happy. We want them to thrive and we want them to produce that fine, sweet plastic for us. I am going to set this to like a priority nine. I really want that metal to be made. This was a nice amount of iron, which is good. And we do have quite a few pockets like that kind of around the base. And so really we do have quite a lot of iron available to us as well as still quite a lot of coal as well there's a lot of coal around the map so we should be fine there's even more just veins up here as well it's mostly just look at that there's mostly just getting to it with all the gases here uh, we could do with maybe setting an airlock up maybe like here or maybe just a little higher up here so we can actually get in and get all of the iron all the coal and really start to excavate this part of the map now we do run into a bit of a problem when we get to this bit here because we can't we can't 
dig through the nature reserve without compromising the integrity of it being a nature reserve. And so I think what I might do is cancel this and instead have the wire run like along here. Because we've already dug this out. They can already get over here. And so if we just have it go kind of like out and down, we are going to have to put a ladder up here so they can get to actually building that. But if we do like this, and they are going to have to dig into the claw room, but that's fine. And we do this, and we cancel like this dig so they actually have somewhere to stand. They should be able to continue running that wire along underneath here. And then we can get rid of all of this wire. This is all no longer needed. We're not going to be using any of this. Uh, I am going to get rid of this natural gas generator. And I think instead what we're going to do is we're going to have this be replaced with mesh tile, which was my bad. I should have had that done uh, right out of the gate. Much like before, we have that replaced with mesh tile. And beneath that, we're going to have a room with a pump collecting the natural gas, much like we have over here. And then I'm just going to send it all the way over to this natural gas generator. Because already, this one is not running most of the time due to the fact that a lot of our natural gas is going up to here. We're very close to not having enough natural gas. And the reason for that is that this lock wasn't available. So people couldn't send uh, the dirt and the phosphorite over to our fertilizers, which means that we couldn't get natural gas for the pumps. And so... More, more importantly so than the Drekos, like it is very important that we get our natural gas back online because otherwise we do run out of food very quickly. Although we do have a good amount available to us and so hopefully that'll last a little while here at least. We can also continue this building, although I do have to get rid of this as well. We are still going to have to think about the pump again for now. For today's episode, I think we're fine just redirecting this pump over to here. It's going to be a little awkward in that we're going to have to cut through the abyssalite. And there's a lot of abyssalite. But if we do this, that should be fine. I'll just dig like a two wide tunnel over to the abyssalite like that. And then we'll put mesh tile down on the back wall here. Like so. We'll go super speed here to try and get some of this stuff done. They've done a pretty good job at uh, building this over here. It looks like they should be able to, uh, to continue to build the rest of that. The output pipe is full. Oh my goodness. We filled the reservoir. So how hot is this water? The water is 45.6 degrees Celsius. It's not super hot, honestly. Uh, but I think for now, I will just put down another reservoir. Although maybe that's not sensible. Maybe we should just pump it over to here. No, I think we should put down a reservoir simply due to the fact that it's not really the temperature that's a problem with the uh, with the water. It's mostly just that there's so much of it, right? Like if, yeah, if we just do this and have it kind of daisy chain through all of these, it's not a problem with the temperature. It's just that we have this almost full. If we try and put more water into this, it's just going to overflow. So instead, we'll do that. The gas is slowly moving. You can see it's getting a lot more breathable in here. And then slowly but surely, it should get more breathable down here as well. The carbon dioxide is ever so slightly you know, moving in this direction and, and getting taken care of. That's good. Over here, the wire is being built, which is good. We are out of iron, but that's fine. We're about to make some more of that, so that is okay. The wire has yet to be deleted, but I assume it's on people's list of things to do. Every so often, we do get a, um, a report that this needs repairing. There shouldn't be anything other than hydrogen going in there. So it shouldn't need repairing all that often. Maybe it's just not been repaired at all because we didn't have any iron. I think it is iron to repair this. So maybe that task has just been there all this time and has not been taken care of. But you can see here, even on super speed, like things are still taking a little while to get done, which kind of just goes to show how long it normally takes to get uh, to get stuff done here. <laughs> which kind of just goes to show how long it takes to get your normal stuff done here. I did want to delete this uh, tile here. No, okay. Whew. Thankfully, that was set to buildings there, not... Um, not everything. I didn't check beforehand, so I was a little worried for a second, but that's fine. Okay, so a little while later, and we're back at normal speed. It's cycle 255, and I think that we are a lot closer to where we need to be now. So the transformer has been set up and apparently can uh, transfer 4,000 watts as opposed to 2,000. I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue for my wiring here. Like, I'm really hoping that's not going to overload this wire but we'll see. Uh, anyway, this is uh, going over and the power is being sent to these two transformers. So it's then going to be split off into two lots of 1000 watts. The first lot for now is just going to the oil refinery, like so. And the second lot is going down and across to power these three polymer presses. I might have to go ahead and disable one of these depending on how we uh, hold up power wise. But other than that, I have also gone ahead and uh, the room is now full of hydrogen, which is good. Uh, and I've also begun to pump gas into this gas reservoir. So you'll see that this pipe here, our kind of radiator pipe of hydrogen, is slowly but surely backing up on the hydrogen front. 
Now, this hydrogen is getting nice and cold. We do, of course, want to bring this right down. Negative 271. In turn, that is going to use more hydrogen from our electrolyzer setup because we want the anti-entropy thermal nullifier running more of the time. But I think that's fine. It just means slightly less hydrogen for the hydrogen generator because this loop here once it's going is going to be hydrogen neutral it's not going to use any hydrogen it's just going to pump the same hydrogen round and around and around and around cooling it down and then heating it back up over and over and over again so right now i'm just letting this pipe back up so we've got a good amount of hydrogen to uh, to circle around we are waiting for the power to actually get built i think for that we do need to put down uh, a few more tiles right about here so we can actually uh, have these transformers work on solid ground and also uh, get over here to apparently what they're trying to make out of gold which we currently don't have so we'll redo that and we'll also redo you as well like so out of iron this time because we do have quite a bit of iron available to us this should then be hooked up to power right as soon as this is connected yeah as soon as that's connected this is gonna come online i'm gonna make this a priority nine like i always want somebody on this building i kind of wish that we could just assign one of our duplicates to spend their days using this oil refinery right now i think it's just gonna send a random duplicate we are a little light on oxygen generation it's pretty close like you can see yesterday we did produce enough the day before not so much i think we're okay we might have to keep an eye on it like it might slowly but surely start to go down but it looks like for the most part it's working fine so this is looking good before we do start making a ton of petroleum let's alter this i think we might have enough hydrogen in this pipe now so let's reconnect this up and of course we do want this to be insulated pipe and there we go now i've made a mistake so we'll delete that one we'll run this back down i'll delete these pipes we will reconnect this pipe uh what is this carbon dioxide how how has carbon dioxide made its way into our pipe i have no idea how carbon dioxide has made its way into our pipe i guess we could maybe real quick put down like a gas vent to try and get rid of some of that carbon dioxide but in general i'm just gonna hit play because I think this might just work. Okay, so hopefully that's working now. Yeah, here we go. So the hydrogen comes in at negative six right now. Very quickly gets heated up to like 22 degrees Celsius. Because these guys are quite hot. Uh, right now it says pipe blocked. Is there an output pipe on the polymer press? There isn't. Oh, there is an output pipe. Oh, I'm a fool. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm a fool because the polymer press outputs carbon dioxide is my my guess the polymer press outputs small amounts of carbon dioxide okay this is fine please duplicates come and delete this uh don't delete the bridge just delete this tile here real quick this is okay it's not great <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination but it's definitely fixable it's just going to require a bit of a rework to take care of the uh, the carbon dioxide that's coming in so also please delete all of these pipes here because we're going to have to completely rework the way this pipe uh, just works in general, right? Um, so we're going to have to have like a pipe that goes along the middle to take out all of the carbon dioxide. I completely forgot that these guys output carbon dioxide. My goodness. Let's uh, super speed this because it's going to take a while to delete this stuff here. So we need to have a pipe that goes through the middle. And I'm going to make it an insulated pipe because I think this might be quite hot. The, uh, the carbon dioxide that comes out of here. And... I think for now, we'll have this kind of go across the middle and then we'll have it run like across here and we'll put like a, a carbon dioxide reservoir somewhere over here for now. Later on down the line, we can maybe look at uh, setting up a CO2 destroyer, a um, carbon skimmer to actually get rid of that CO2. But for now, we'll put like a little reservoir right about here with an input pipe so we can actually get all that in this doesn't need to so once it gets out of the room it doesn't need to be insulated so we can actually delete all that and then make this out of regular old gas pipe like so i just don't want the carbon dioxide that's going to be hot coming out and, uh, and heating up the room and negating the effects of our of our hydrogen so i think in general it's going to be okay like obviously having the pipes up here is going to be less effective than it was lower down but i think it's still going to be effective so i think we want to kind of go across to the end hmm I kind of feel like we want to go the other way around now. I think we want to come in this way, go across, back, one last time across the bottom, and then go up and out. Yes, so I think we want to reverse this. That is easily done. All we do is reverse the input and output on the pipes on this side, so that's actually fine. 
And we also have to remove slash replace this bridge. And then also delete these over here. Is this reachable? I think it is. So we'll delete this as well. Again, we don't want the polluted water in, uh, the polluted oxygen in here, but we can deal with that later. We have got a little bit of water on the floor, which I think is going to help us with um, with temperature. So that was my bad. <laughs> that was definitely not the mistake to be making here. But I think a lot of this is, uh, I think this is still salvageable. Can they get to this? I kind of feel like they can't delete that right now because even though it doesn't say like unreachable, it says unbreathable. Even though it doesn't say unreachable, they've yet to... Uh... What's the priority on that? Wait, there's no priority? Please delete this this building. Maybe they can delete this. Gosh, that's loud. <laughs> priority 9 on this and like priority 8 on these. I would like these to be deleted, please. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So back over with ventilation. We're going to have the pipes come in here. They're going to go across. They're going to go back. They're going to go down. They're going to go across. They're going to go back. Now, yeah, this is fine. They don't need to be radiant pipes from this point on, so we can go back to regular pipes, because regular pipes are cheaper. Um, Actually, again, I think we want these to be insulated pipes, because I don't want these mesh tiles getting really hot. So we'll do that. Uh, oh, no, that's not right, you fool. We're going the other way. We're going over here. And then we're going up over a gas bridge and then connecting to here. And again, another gas bridge like so. And then I'm going to delete... Oh, these are already inserted tiles, so that's fine. Yes, I think this system will work okay. We've just effectively reversed it. I do have to delete this here. That should be okay. And we do also need to have the pipe coming out this way. Which again, I think is fine. So we're going to go out and down like that. Insulated. We're going to come in. Insulated as well. So again, gas bridge just going the other way around like that. And then into here. Insulated tile means that it keeps its temperature even hopefully through the gas reservoir. And hopefully, that's going to work much better. Just this pipe at the top might seem useless. But because we're fully submerged in hydrogen, the hydrogen does such a good job at taking in all the heat. The hydrogen is going to hopefully take absorb some of the heat from the polymer presses. And then even the higher up hydrogen is going to transfer that heat into uh, into here as well. I would like to um, ideally, of course, get rid of this non-hydrogen that we find ourselves with in this room right now. But for the purposes of today's episode, I would very much so like to just get this going. So here we go. There is carbon dioxide in our loop, but I think that's fine. That's something we could take care of later. Let's slow it down a bit. So it's now going the opposite way around. So it's coming in here at like negative 16 degrees. This is almost set up correctly. We do have to put down some tile over here so they can actually build the reservoir. And then I'll build the tile all the way to here as well. Why not? I build the reservoir and then actually get rid of the carbon dioxide, which is why this is not working right now. The pipe is, I believe, blocked. It's also got no petroleum either so we could also do with getting a duplicate uh, over working on uh, on this thing as well but for the most part this seems to be working the temperature the gas is coming in nice and cold um, i don't know how cold this room is now we have set the the thermo sensor like right to the bottom and i'm also a little concerned potentially about how cold our core area is getting like this oxygen is probably coming in quite cold it's not too bad actually it's coming in at zero yeah, there's some coming in that like negative two round here. But I think for the most part, that's okay. Yes, this seems fine. Like I said, later we can go ahead and get try and get rid of that carbon dioxide. But I think for now, there's enough hydrogen in there to uh, to offset that. This is online. No gas output, that's fine. For now, we just want the gas to, uh, to kind of sit in there and do its thing. And so hopefully, if we can get a duplicate in and working on that, which currently is not the case because of the fact that the pump is not powered, of course. Okay, so final thing here is to simply reconnect the pump to power, which shouldn't be too difficult because all we have to do is actually just run this power wire up alongside the one that currently exists and then connect it up preferably to this one. Simply due to the fact that this one's using less power right now, although this is only using, what, 720 watts of power, so adding in an extra... 240 plus 120 that is going to take us over a thousand so it might it's going to look horrible but if we do a wire bridge like this and then we do just regular wire up and over and around to there that should work out just fine that should bring the oil back online at least temporarily of course we are going to have to set up another oil pump because the oil down there is not particularly large it's going to run out fairly soon 
That's the end of that. So hopefully now we're going to see oil moving back up. There we go. Fantastic. Let's uh, super speed it so it gets up nice and quick. And uh, there is a filter in there, right? Yeah, there is a filter in there. So it's going to start, like I said, there's not a lot of oil there, but the oil is going to get pumped up. It's going to get placed into our refinery. And then finally, we're going to have a decent amount of plastic. And finally, we're going to get to see, hopefully, the, uh, the effects of our cooling system, like whether or not this is actually good enough to cool down this uh, this whole system here. Instantly out of power, eh? Is, like, is that just like a, a base power thing? That's probably just a base power thing. Like I do notice now that this battery is not even getting going. So I think that might just be the case that there's just not enough power being made. Uh, also, I have not set up this either. So let me set up the little room down here to collect the natural gas in. We should probably put a door there, right? Instead of just uh, just wall. For now, we probably will need a um, filter for the natural gas because it's going to pump in other things. But eventually, much like with our setup over here, the idea is that we won't need a filter because it will only be pumping natural gas. That's the only gas that will make its way down here, ideally. We'll see how well that works. These are coming online, though, and they're still saying very cold due to the fact that, you know, they're not online for more than, like, half a nanosecond right now. But we have now got, you know, almost two tons of plastic, which is nothing crazy, but it's also nothing, uh, nothing to sniff at. We will, of course, put a gas pump here. And for now, again, I think what we'll do is we'll have that gas. We, of course, eventually want it to run all the way over to, uh, to here to pump into the natural gas generator uh, or to pump into our... Uh, food supplies if we need it but for now i think we will run like over to somewhere like here just because there's power here and space for a gas filter and then we'll have the gas filter go somewhere like maybe even oh no we'll do it like this this is fine and then we've course, i think for now what we'll do is we'll just have anything that's not natural gas going into here and then anything that is natural gas continuing on out and then somehow making its way over. This is another one of those situations where, for one, we can get rid of all these gas pipes here, but I think we're gonna have to go down and along this power route because there's already so many gas pipes over here for the hydrogen and for the oxygen. So I think we're gonna have to go under the same way that the wire goes. And that actually works out quite nicely because it ends up going to here. Like if we just go down and across, you know, and legitimately just follow the same path as the wire. It's a bit of a, of a convoluted path, but it should be able to make its way and connect up to the pre-existing uh, setup there. Did that actually place? It didn't. Why did that? Did I right-click instead of left-clicking? Let's try that again. All the way over here. There we go. Okay. But in theory, this works. We are going to have to give power to the pump. Again, I think that's coming from... For now, this is fine. This can come from here. That's okay. And if we go ahead and uh, Alt-Z this, they should have it done in no time. And I think right now, again, it's one of those situations where the only thing that seems to be holding us back, I guess we could potentially, slowing things down for a second here, if we go to priorities, can we specify that somebody works on machines? I guess we can, operating, right? If we have somebody, maybe Mima or Bert, whose like highest priority it is to go and work with machinery. Bert is higher. And so you know what, sure, Bert. I'm gonna put I'm gonna go as far as to put everything else as a low priority for Bert. I want Bert right now giving his wholehearted devotion to running this oil refinery pretty much all day every day. If he's awake, I kinda want him running this oil refinery. Right now we are gonna run into a problem where we run out of oil, but until then. I would, uh, there's quite a bit of oil back here, and that should turn into quite a lot of plastic over the next couple of cycles, but until then, I kind of want him on this, because right now, it kind of seems like our, our setup is a bit unnecessary, because they're not even on for more than a couple of seconds at a time, but I think this setup is actually going to do a pretty good job of not overheating, maybe, or at least slowing down the rate at which they overheat. Okay, so there's Bert. Bert is running the machine. So now, hopefully... These guys are on pretty much all of the time, so long as we have power. Of course, power is something that we do not have. And so, um, I guess right now, one of the reasons we don't have power is because this tile needs to be replaced, like so. But I also think we could probably do with looking at other sources of power. It's quite possible, actually, that once we get the natural gas pumping back in, we might have enough power. 
but potentially we should start maybe looking around to try and find uh, something like a steam geyser a steam geyser could go ahead and give us access to steam power but also next time we'll come back and we'll look at setting up our natural gas geyser it is still 22 cycles away from actually being usable so we still got a bit of time to actually set that up before it uh, starts outputting natural gas and uh, we'll work on that in the next episode somebody is suffocating Mima. oh my goodness every time man every time they always they always build from the bottom okay i would like you to build the inside of tile but preferably from the top like don't go into the room where you can't breathe and then build it it's a good thing they give you the suffocation notifications man otherwise i would uh i would not be ready for when my duplicate suffocate if he goes underneath here i swear thank you nicola thank you somebody is sensible here so now this generator's back online we might be able to run this uh these guys a little bit more consistently so yeah these are going they are getting hot like this one's at uh 35 degrees celsius although it is getting cooled down once it's uh once it's offline like this yeah they're out of petroleum that's fine but we're up to two tons of plastic we could definitely do with more hydrogen in the loop there's not really enough hydrogen how hot's it coming in at 12 degrees it's not coming in super hot but it definitely is gaining temperature and it definitely is putting our nullifier to work maybe negative 271 is a bit extreme like maybe if we just put it at like negative 20 or something it might be uh it might be fine we might not need to have it quite so low i do real quick here need to build a uh, platform along here it doesn't need to be here but you know four tiles is kind of our go-to uh tile height here and so i'm hoping once they build that they can go and build the rest of these uh these pipes and then this pipe of course is going to come across and down like so and then that should be the system complete at that point everything should be taken care of everything should be online and everything should be ready to go that is connected to power the input and output well the output's ready the input is gonna get ready we've got a little tiny little baby pufflet here i think we're also gonna have to dig all of this over here as well so we'll schedule that you can see they do get very hot very fast this guy also gets quite hot and we might even end up in a situation where this guy's too hot yeah i assume his overheat temperature I, I assume i made it out of gold by accident yeah so his overheat temperature is higher and it does lose its temperature quite rapidly but it's also quite plausible that we should maybe have the hydrogen pipe kind of loop through here a little bit just to maybe take away some of the temperature from this area and maybe even just make this uh, i don't know it's kind of i guess we could try and make this into a, a hydrogen area maybe put down a water lock like here maybe or maybe a bit further back like maybe here and try and fill this entire area with hydrogen so that the hydrogen doesn't get you know infiltrated with other stuff that would kind of i guess it wouldn't be too bad with this like the natural gas could still get through here it just mean repumping the hydrogen back into the room yeah i think we could make that work here we go okay so the pipe has finally been built the power is definitely a problem that we're gonna have to solve mostly due to the fact that we are out of coal we are out of coal okay so that is our current issue our current issue is not one of um of it's not really one of not enough power it's mostly one of not enough coal because we do have what it takes i guess we can go and dig some of this although yeah let's go ahead and schedule them to dig out like this over here i'll set that to like priority nine real quick just so they can fuel those coal generators and for a few a few moments we can see what it's like to have have this actually run we should start to see the uh, the natural gas yep that's going over it is going to go through a second filter here which of course is unnecessary and i guess we couldn't we didn't need this filter but i don't really want to put more gas into this room over here that's not really what i'm after the generator is online the power goes down quite quickly but then it all comes back online okay this is looking good this is working the gas pump is going we do need of course a uh, an atmo sensor in here because much like in our other builds we do not want this to be online if the if the, the air pressure around here is too low like right now it's it's way too low for to warrant this being online is there also like a way that we can sense for a specific gas i guess there is also the gas element sensor like i kind of want to put another one here mm, i guess if we did that we'd need like a, a an and gate as well which we could definitely do because i'm kind of thinking like oh no, it's fine actually we don't need that we'll put down the atmo sensor i was thinking we don't want it pumping if it's like just polluted oxygen down here but eventually as time goes on we kind of want the polluted oxygen excuse me are you trapped or have you just been down here too long it's not too big of a deal that he made a mess over here i think he might be trapped he, he is definitely trapped okay let's put some tile down to free this man we'll make this like priority nine oh 
hopefully somebody's coming. I'm going to make it like an every other thing so that they can hopefully get him out faster. Come on, we've made it 263 cycles. Today is not the day that I lose another duplicate. Thank you, Hassan. There we go. Okay, he's free. We can cancel this. They can still get in and out over there. That is all fine. Okay, I think, finally, we might have a system for making plastic. It's a little all over the place and could definitely still do with some refinement, for sure. I do still like the idea of filling this entire room with hydrogen to maybe cool this down, because 75 degrees, as it was at just there, I guess it can go all the way up to 125, so... It's still got quite a bit of, um, of leeway there, but ideally we don't want it being quite so hot, I don't think. I don't know how much of a good job the water is doing here, but I'm going to assume that it's helping for the time being and not bother getting rid of it. I would like you to only send a green signal if the temperature is above, like, 500 grams, which currently it is, so it's going to pump away. And then as soon as it falls below, it's going to stop. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so that should hopefully minimize our power usage with that. And with that, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode of Oxygen Not Included. There we have a setup. It's working. We're making plastic. We do have to figure out what we're going to do with this carbon dioxide at some point, but we can figure that out in the future. When we come back, we can maybe look at putting down some of these tiles. We can definitely look into utilizing our natural gas geyser. We can also look at potentially using some of the plastic that we have, maybe for some ladders, maybe for some tiles, maybe for some beds, and maybe even for some transit tubes as well to get our duplicates from place to place faster. It'd be pretty good if we had like a little transit tube in like Bert's bedroom that went straight over to his uh, to his job at the oil refinery so he can just jump in the tube and get his way all the way down here maybe a little bit unnecessary for one duplicate but it could work out nevertheless i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode there as always if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more oxygen not included in the future be sure to go ahead and hit that like button it really does help out a lot leave a comment down below subscribe if you're new here to get notified as soon as new videos go out as always thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>